<coughs> so, uh, dun sa part 1 natin, we already finished the login version 4. So, as you can see, itong account na to, dun sa ginawa ko kanina, yung uh, admin123. Uh, since, kahit natama na yung password na ilagay ko rito. Admin123. Okay. Ay, nag-welcome pa rin. So, bakit yun? So, dapat hindi siya papasok sa welcome. Check natin kung bakit. Ah, kasi ito yung welcome. Okay. Tapos yung checking of account, nat of account natin is nandito. So, valid account. If Okay. Uh, so, I think yung checking of lock account natin, lagay natin sa labas. Hindi dito. Let's cut this. Lagay natin after nung else. Yeah. Okay. Para kung sakaling kahit na tama yung password niya, hindi magwe-welcome. Okay, kapag nakalock. So, let's try. Uh, admin123. Password is same. Admin123. Login. Yan. Your account is locked. Okay. So, kahit na tama na yung username and password niya, once na na-reach niya yung 3 dun sa lock counter natin, automatically uh, lalabas yung yung ganitong uh, message box. No? Your account is locked. <coughs> okay. So, I have here a new form. So, I designed a form. Okay? For the admin naman. Okay? So, ito naman yung kanina. Dun sa requirements natin. We're in. On the requirements, uh, the system administrator has has to unlock the account. Okay? Para yung user makapag-reset ng password. Okay? So, ang gagawin natin is we're going to create another form. So, this is form 2 for the admin. So, lahat ng mga lock accounts makikita natin dito. So, ano ba? Nalock yung account mo. Automatically, nakalista yung pangalan mo dito. So, once I click that and then click unlock, dapat ma-unlock na yung account at mawawala na rito sa mga lock accounts natin. So, gumamit ako dito ng this is just a label, this is a list view, and this is a button. Okay. So, let's now proceed to the naming. So, ito. This is a list view. So, let's call this as uh, LV list view users. Ah, nakaraan. So, let's call this as LV users. Okay. Then, we have here button VTN uh, unlock. Okay. So, bumawa ko ng list view rito. Uh, una, I try to change the view to details. And then, nag-edit ako ng columns. Nag-add ako ng tatlong columns. So, the first column is the user ID. The second column is the first name. The third column is the last name. Okay. So, Unahin muna natin i-run yung uh, form 2. Startup, startup form natin will be now form 2. Okay, para marun natin yung form 2. Yan. So, nagra-run yung form 2. So, ang kailangan natin i-list dito will be the name, the user ID, the first name, and the last name of the unlock accounts or the lock accounts, yung mga nakalock accounts natin which is yung account ko. Dapat tumabas dito. So, anong gagawin natin? First, once you load this, this, uh, this uh, form, so dapat papasok kay list view. So, on the form to load, so I just type uh, list, ah, uh, fill list view. Sorry. Fill list view open then the name of the uh, the, the, 
Denise B, which is LV users. <coughs> and then, we type now the query or the, the MySQL. So, select uh, ano yung kailangan natin? The user ID, uh, the F name, tama L name, okay, from users, where uh, paano natin masasabi na lock yung account? Okay, kapag yung lock counter natin is equal to 3. So, where lock counter is equal to 3. So, i-list nyo na lahat ng users na yung lock counter is 3. So, if you run this, ayun. So, nandito na yung pangalan to. Okay? <coughs> so, lahat ng mga, kapag yung account mo is 3, automatically lalabas yun dito. Pero, pag hindi, so, for example, I edit this, ginawa kong 0, then refresh, so, zero na yung lock counter ng account ko. So, once I run this again, wala siya dito. Walang lalabas. Lahat lang lang lalabas dito is yung lahat ng nakalock na, ano, na information. So, lagay natin, let's say the lock counter is, let's go back to 3. Then, refresh. So, so ready 3. So, dapat pag niran to, lalabas na yung name. Yan. So, I have now one lock accounts. Now, if I click lock accounts and then I select unlock, dapat uh, ang gagawin lang natin is i-unlock. Pag sinabing unlock, yung dating tree, gagawin lang natin zero. Okay, now the question is how can we uh, determine kung sino yung sinelect natin kasi dadami to eh. Okay, so that is to the use of a list view. Okay, so ang next na gagawin natin is we're going to determine kung sino yung na-select na data. So, ang pinaka-main objective natin dito is the user ID, this one. Okay. So, kailangan ma-determine natin kung uh, sino yung selected value. Okay. So, let's try. Maglagay muna tayo ng label. Tingnan natin kung nasa-select nga natin yung yung value na, yung 1 dito sa user ID. So, I put here a label. So, once I select a certain label, a uh, certain user ID, dapat lalabas yung user ID niya dito. So, this is label 2. Kunwari, ano lang to, for experiment, no? So, double click dapat kay LB users or selected changes. Yan, pwede rin kay selected change. Okay, so, dapat, Papasok kay label 2, that text. Okay, kung sino yung na-select natin. Is equal to LB user. That items items that <coughs> that select that items that
selected items that oops sorry LB user that selected items that item 0 that sub item 1 that text okay so sub item I think this is 0 kasi bakit 0? yung unang unang value eh yung kailangan natin so selected item 0 that sub item 0 that text Let's try. So, dapat ang lalabas dito pag clinic natin to lalabas 1. Ayun. <coughs> so, tama. Yan yung kailangan natin. So, it means uh, nagra-run yung code natin. Nagra-run naman yung code. So, ang gagawin lang natin is actually, hindi naman natin kailangan yung label 2. So, we will go into remove label 2. Ito lang naman yung kailangan natin. Okay. So, this one. So, ang gagawin natin is once you click, you can now erase this, once you click unblock or unblock, automatically, uh, yung user natin na yun will be changed to yung, yung lock, lock, ano niya, yung lock uh, counter will become zero. Now, once you click this button. Okay, so unlock. Okay, so gagawin lang natin is exec ng query. Okay, call tayo ng query. Okay, select natin. Select as this from users where ah, but select we're going to use update. Update uh, users okay. set okay, set natin yung lock counter okay, is equal to 0 okay where yung user id user id okay so ano ba yung user id nya so kung ano yung user id na sinelect so where user id is equal to double quote <coughs> ampersand and then, dito natin ilalagay ito. Okay. Si LB user. Tulay na natin ito. Hindi naman natin kailangan itong part na to, So, we remove. Okay. And then, don't forget to put here the word but. Okay, so ang ginawa natin, uh, check natin kung yung user ID na yun is yung selected value. And then, yung uh, value na yun, yung lock counter niya, is set natin to 0. So, let's try. Okay, so if I click this one, and then click on lock. Okay. So, dapat, pag check natin sa database, uh, this is now 0. Nag-zero na siya kasi in-unlock na natin. So, dapat meron tayong message box na lalabas. So, after doing this, uh, message box, then lagay natin si double code. Okay. Use uh, successfully. unlock the selected user. <coughs> okay. And then, of course, we need to change the fill list view again kasi magbabago yung fill list. So, we just run this again to the unlock. Okay. So, let's go back. So, wala na dapat. Ayan na. Wala na dito yung account for Okay, so, gagawin lang natin Pagpalitin lang natin ito Okay, let's go back Okay, yung lock counter ko Gagawin kong 3 Then, refresh Okay, so, pag nirun ko to This is now The value 
Okay. Then, ang gagawin lang natin is we're going to uh, change. Change this. Click lang natin. Then, unlock. Ayan. Successfully unlock the selected user. So, nawala na. Nawala na dito. So, if you will go to check it here, then you press refresh. Okay. So, yung account now is already uh, zero. Yung lock counter na. Okay. So, it means it means uh, gagawin na lang ng user is to set again another password. Okay. So, ang mangyayari niyan, na-unlock na natin, pwede na ulit buksan ng user yung yung password. So, halimbawa, file, uh, let's now open uh, form 1. Okay. So, pag nag-type ako ulit ng admin123, then admin admin123, log in, so, ayun na. Lalabas na yung welcome. Okay, ngayon, paano kung halimbawa nagkamali ulit ako? Then, I click log in. So, nag-invalid, di ba? So, once na nag-invalid, automatically, yung lock, magwawan yan. Ngayon, ang gusto natin, according to the rules, okay, magre-reset sa zero kapag na-type na ng user yung correct password. Okay, pag na-detect na, 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 na type ng user ulit yung correct password, yung 1 dapat magiging 0 yan. Okay, actually dapat yung 2 pwede rin. So, halimbawa, nag-type ka ulit and then you click log in. So, invalid na yan. So, pang ilan na yan? Pang pangalawa. So, dapat pag nag-type ako dito ng admin123 tamang password at lumabas na itong welcome, dapat daw, magre-reset yung counter to zero. Okay? So, paano yun? Paano natin gagawin yun? So, from your form, dito, okay, so, di ba, ito yung welcome, nasa si welcome, ito si welcome, okay, ang gagawin lang natin is i-update lang natin si lock counter. So, you just copy this. Diba? Ito si lock counter. Ayan o. May set lock counter dito. So, ang gawin mo lang, update mo yung user, set lock, lock counter. Okay? Set mo lang siya sa zero. Okay, and then, you just erase this all. Okay, ayan. Where username is equal to text user that text. Okay, so, i-update niya yung lock counter ng username na to. Okay, so, let's try. So, take note. Ang lock counter natin is 2. Okay. Pag nag-type ako ng tamang username and password. Login. Okay. So, nag-welcome na siya. So, dapat niyan, yung lock counter natin will become 0. Ayan. <coughs> so, nag-0 na siya. Okay, so that's it. Ayun na, okay na to. So this will be the next activity na gagawin nyo for this, uh, in, the, in our subject. No, so dapat gumagana na yung lock accounts at saka itong form natin dito, nakakapag-lock na. Pagka uh, na-lock, mapupunta dito yung accounts. And then after that, pag in yung accounts, automatically dapat pwede na siya ulit mag Love you. Any question, class? Wala na po. Okay. So, kung wala na question, this will be our next activity. So, lalagay na natin dun sa ano natin. Sa... Blue Hive. Okay, so this will be your next activity in our subject that is in information security, system security. So on the midterm, we're going to add. Wait. This 
will be activity number M-1. So, ang gagawin lang is you're going to create or send the link of your video. Okay, describing the uh, way kung paano nyo ginawa yung activity na to. Na? M1. Okay, so, timing. Open the quiz today. One of time limit. Okay, this is one attempt only. Show activity complete. So we have here activity M1. And it is so this is the question. So through Google Drive na lang ang gagamitan na para isend yung video na gagawin yun. Yung link na lang ang kailangan ko. So this is the question. Okay. The login version four na tayo na. Okay. Login version four with the following requirements. So what are the requirements? Lagay ko lang dito yung mga requirements natin kanina. Ayan. Ayan. And then, the sample uh, output. 